I relate it more to a three-ring circus. You know, the ringmaster. OK, everybody, now we're going to try and put all this together and it's going to work. And I, I find that if you do have a positive attitude and push that way, that it will come together. have a bit of trouble getting a lot better than that. Try one more. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. There was a bit, I'm just in that, in the quiet section. Yeah. I was a bit worried about the time. Yeah. There was a one bit there. Yeah, it's I know what you mean, but it's not a big, big drama. Have a there's go one bit where it sort of dropped, but... Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's right. Look, feel, yeah. you'll find once there's acoustic guitars and everything going yeah. over there, it's not really going to be a dropped, but the feel after it brought it back into time. My advice would be to, um, it's pretty good, to work on that, actually. So, all right, yeah, I'll try it one more time. Three and a half minutes. Let's do it. Okie dokie. I'll tell you when the big red light's on. The big red knob is on. What do you expect Tony to do? There's so many different things to think about, you know, just trying to get your own sound, trying to get the song, trying to do all these different things. To have someone else who can come in who's like a sound artist and actually use their art to, and also give you, make you be able to hear it a little bit objectively. Because we've been listening to it for a long time, you know, and working on it for a long time. You get too wound up in it to the point where you really can't see it for what it is. Have someone else just come in and say a few simple things can help clarify it for you. He's a very positive guy. Mm. Obviously, mm. you know, that must be... It must make it a lot easier to work with a person it's like great. that. Yeah, and man, he can just... Let's do this, come on, let's go. Yeah, go, go, go. And he seems very immediate too. It seems like the way he wants to work is his first... He likes to go with his first impressions. And that seems to be always the best thing. You always come back to first impressions. And it's great to it's like see enthusiasm from someone that whose work you do respect and that encourages you to put in as much effort as you can into your songs. Tony, if I was to come to you and say, I want you to produce my next album, right. what would I need to do? Um, personally, I'd be looking for just a little bit of a spark of something fresh, which is actually a, a lot harder to find than you, than you might think. Mm. I mean, there's a great deal of things that I get that sound a lot like, ooh, say, Nick Cave or something like that, or something else you've heard. Mm. You get a lot of that, but every now and then you find one that comes along with something totally new, totally fresh. OK, so I come, I've got some material which does grab you. What are you going to do with it? Do I need to be worried about your input? I think a producer, well, in my opinion, the producer's part is to take what the person has got and really translate it into the technology, etc., and make it come out so that when people play it back at home, it jumps out into their face. And the sound and everything... I, I'm, I'm not a musical producer as such. I won't change people's music. I'll take on a job because I think their music is fantastic and all their I ideas are fantastic. All I've got to do is turn it into a sound and a technical translation so that what people play back at home is perfect. It sounds, you know, um, well, it jumps out at them. I can't think of anything else than that. I mean, the song really is where the, the bottom line is for me. Uh, you've got to be able to listen to a song and say, oh, this song is being approached the wrong way or the right way or, you know, th I think that's, that's another part of where a producer can add. You know, well, how do you deal with, you know, the very well catered for egos of a lot of um, high profile people that you may have worked with or not. Psychology, I think. 
reverse psychology quite often is if you have an idea sometimes when you've got a, a lot of ego to deal with it's very cl the best thing you can do is try to twist things around so that it's their idea and not yours. It's not such a difficult thing to do really. Do you see yourself as a motivator as much as a record producer? Motivating is, is one of the biggest parts of it. Just saying yes you can do it or or um, maybe try it this way because, you know, if it's not working like this, it'll work like that. What I find after a while is people that you work with for some time, especially younger ones who sort of get a little bit more mature as things go on, then they start, it starts to become second nature and they become motivators themselves. Song.